Okay, so I just came back from the store. I went to get my memory foam pillows that I've been wanting. I've been doing so much research, looking online, Amazon, eBay, you name it, going to different stores, trying to find the best memory foam pillow that I can find. If you haven't seen my previous videos, I just bought a new memory foam mattress by Ashley Designs, which I love to death. It's the best sleep I ever had so comfy it did take a couple of days for us to get used to it because we've never had a memory foam mattress we've always had those original old timer mattresses our mattress was only like five years old but it really had taken a toll it had a big dip on one side our backs were hurting it was just really uncomfortable we tried to put pillows in between the box spring and the mattress it did not work so i said that's it I'm finally going to treat myself um, to memory foam mattress. My daughters had got one each. My daughter just moved into a new apartment. She got one, loved it, did say it take a couple of days, but she got one and I end up getting exactly the same one as hers. My other daughter got one. She was actually the first one to get the one that lives with us. She got it online, but she got one of those expensive, the ones that came out in the beginning that were just really, really expensive. She paid $800 for her and she has a full size. And so we got a designer one, a good quality one as well. But um, mine was my size as a queen and I got it for 287. My da other daughter got a keen. I don't, I think she paid almost 400 for hers. Then I'm gonna get one for my son next week. His is a full, so his is like 257. So it's just so worth the buy. I totally recommend it. If you haven't seen that video, go back and see it. Um, but I thought since I got the new memory foam mattress, I want the whole new bed setting. The pillows, um, the sheet bedding. So I got two um, bedding sets, which comes with the fitted sheet, the flat sheet, and four pillow cases. Um, they had like three colors, like a mustard colored, an antique rose, and a gray. I got the antique rose and a gray. Um, because my regular sheets for this, even though it's the same queen size, it didn't fit this memory foam because it's higher and thicker and it's a 12 inch. So I needed to get sheets that are deep pocket sheets. So I had to get two new sets of those and I thought, great, new memory foam mattress, got to get new bedding, new sheets. And of course I have to have the pillowcases. So after a lot of research looking online in the stores, I finally got some. I actually got um, four pillows earlier and they were the bamboo style they were called luxurious memory foam bamboo style felt so good looked so good bought them brought them home and I hadn't put them away right away they were just on my couch here's a picture of what it looks like <sighs> okay so those were it then when I went to go finally put them I on my bed they were too high because I got two for each of us they were extremely high I wish I would have taken a picture of how it looked um, once you put your head on it it wasn't too bad but I couldn't dress my bed with them and they just look awkward whether I stood them up laid them flat it just didn't feel right at all then I started smelling that bamboo smell and it was really getting to me kind of like smelling cedar wood or some type of wood I didn't smell it in the store and I didn't even smell it in the car but didn't even smell it, leaving it in my living room for a little bit. But once I put on the bed that I took it out of the plastic, put a pillowcase on it, because um, I didn't want to touch it in case I did want to take it back for some odd reason. I really thought I was staying with it. Um, so I'm glad I did because I didn't want to touch it so someone else could buy it. It just, it looked awkward. It felt awkward and it smelled awkward. I mean, the feeling wasn't too bad, I must say, but just... Whether I laid it flat or stood up, it looked, it just did not look good. And that smell, I cannot get past that smell. So I took them back and then I went, they didn't have anything that I wanted. So I went to a, a different store, which was Big Lots. I got those from Ross and these are the ones I got. So here they are. Unfortunately, I only got three because they didn't have the matching one to this one. And let me tell you, that's my memory foam pillow. You can't see it because it has a pillowcase. I've had it, I think, for three years. It's the best memory foam pillow I've ever had. I hold on to it for dear, dear life. And no matter where I looked or how much I looked, I could not find one that was exactly like that one. 
And today I found this one. Now Sealy is the brand and Serta. These are both quality brands. So um, it's worth investing in a quality brown. So I love both brands. Um, but this one, I felt it. I don't know if you can see it because it's just on plastic. But it is perfect. It is just like my pillow over there. And I paid this much, which was $25. It's right there. And it feels just like, in fact, I think that's where I got my other pillow. But I don't remember this being the outer part of it. Because right now, it's a see-through shredded memory foam. So the outside looks different, but it feels exactly the same. So, but they didn't have another one. So I'm going to go back and be checking and to try to find the matching one to this one if they get it some more in. Or I'm going to try to match it up on Amazon for my husband. Um, and then I got the Serta memory foam ones. It's a gel memory foam cooling pillow. Never gets flat, supportive, and always comfortable. Cool support, cooling gel memory foam inside. Soft and breathable, luxurious machine washable cover. It's a two-pack. It's for all sleep positions. It's a standard size. I got these two for 20. What a deal. And the memory foam is great. It's not 100% like the my memory foam that I'm holding on to their life. Or this one but it's the next best thing and these will be our bottom pillows so it didn't have to be perfect but it had to be great I don't know if you get what I'm saying so these are gonna be our bottom pillows I can't wait to put the pillowcases on them I hope that each pillow on top of the other is not too high like the other ones were that they're comfortable as I'm thinking that they're gonna be so but my husband he says he loves his pillow and it's still great his is pretty new I think within the last two years he really would like to stick with this pillow, but I'm definitely still going to get him another one to match me for sure. But he says he can hold off. Um, so, yeah, so I'm going to set him up, see what I think, see how I feel. But, yeah, so this was 25 and 20 so I spent, was a total with tax 48 something So let's see how it looks after I put it together. So that's how they look. A little higher but not as high as those bamboo ones and I love the feel my husband tested his he loves it so I think we did great so I changed all the pillowcases we had two extras of each set so I put these are all new pillowcases on all the new pillows except this one like I said I still have to find the matching one to mine but he loved it Okay, I just wanted to show you guys a couple of more masks that I got. I found these in Ross. Um, a couple of weeks ago, I found some other masks at Ross. I found a Statue of Liberty New York one, which I got for my son, which is amazing. I'll show you a picture of that. Um, he loves everything about New York, the Statue of Liberty, the Empire State Building. So I got him one of those, and then I got me an American flag one. Um, and then I got... I think it was a different one for my daughter. I don't remember what was on there. Maybe it was the same New York one, but there were a few different ones. And so I went back. I thought I'm going to get them another extra New York one in case one is dirty or being washed because we wash them every night. After we use them, all the masks get washed at night. They get hung to dry and the next day they're dry. So we definitely keep them clean. So I thought, well, while one is dirty or is being washed in the moment, he has that extra one in case he has to go out suddenly or the other one is drying and he needs to use it but when I went back they didn't have it so Ross is the kind of store that if you find something you gotta and you really like it grab a few um, which is not something I normally do but I didn't for some reason but it's okay if I ever see it again I'll definitely pick up a few for him to have he also has a Spongebob one and a filtered one so he has three different ones and so I want to get him a few more like one of Patrick from the Spongebob show just different ones maybe if they have a titanic one because he loves everything about titanic he loves everything about dinosaurs so i'm gonna get him a few different ones of stuff that he loves so much um he loves wearing them because he wants to be protected number one two and it just makes it you know more positive more funner to have a design of something that really means a lot to him um and that's the same thing i'm doing as well as my daughter's um like I said, my daughter sews, so she has made so many different 
um, designs and patterns and colors for us and we've also ordered from Amazon different ones um, different colors different designs things that have messages I love ones that have messages and in case you haven't seen the videos of the different mask I got you could go back and check those out um, I also can add some clips of all the different masks I got so just you can just see them um, and these I picked up you know they only had these and I think like an army, like a camouflage kind of one. I really didn't like that one because it was like a disposable one. It was weird. Um, but I found these two that had like um, Bible verses me messages. And it says mask army adults. I don't know what the army is about. But, you know, anything about the army is definitely something we honor and respect. But I don't know what the word is on because I don't know if it comes from the army. It's made from um, soldiers in the army, which would be really, really nice. I don't know why but it's an adult mask and they come like this they're only um $3.99 I don't know if you can see the price right there forgive my nails it's not focusing but all of them that I found have all been $3.99 which is not bad at all um there's of course better prices on Amazon and of course the ones that we make here um you have to buy the fabric and stuff like that but um this has not been the most expensive mask I bought I think the SpongeBob one was actually like 13, 15 something. Um, and then the air filter ones were like 17 something. So I don't think I've paid more than $20 for a mask. And I try to get them at a very decent price as a budgeted price, but I also want um, the material to be comfortable, to be breathable, um, to be quality. So, but you can find so many at such a great price um, a great budget price and still be good quality and have decent messages. So I got these two. There were two different Bible verses message, messages, Bible verses messages. And I think this one says love never fails. I can't see the whole thing. It's first Corinthians 13, eight. Um, and I think that's pretty much what it says. Love never fails. I'll take it out the package real quick. This one I've taken out the package cause I'm going to wear it today. And it says, I'll always, I am always with you, Matthew 28, 20. Always with you, Matthew 28, 20. So I'm gonna put that on my face to show you what that looks like. And then I'll take this out the package just to make sure I'm seeing the right message. So give me a moment. So this is one that I just showed you. It says, I am always with you. I believe it says Matthew's 28, 20. Um, of course, I'm a very, very, very spiritual person. I'm into my Bible, my devotionals, my prayers, Christian music, you name it. I'm very spiritually connected. So stuff like this means a lot to me. Um, and it fits. I just want you to know it's a very good fit. It's very breathable, which is what I look for. I don't want it to be loose and I don't want it to be tight. I just want it to be a perfect, nice, comfortable fit. And then when you have that, it allows you to breathe better. So this one's good. It covers um, the top of the nose to the bottom of the chin really good. It goes around my ears really, really comfortable. Um, it's really, really comfortable. I love it. So when I go back to Ross, I'm definitely going to keep looking out for them and picking up more and more. Um, I was happy to see that because that, I wanted some um, Bible verses or spiritual messages. And so I was looking to order some and lo and behold, Ross had them. But they only had these two. So this is the one I'm going to wear today. And then I'll show you the other one. So I don't want to put this on because I don't want to get too dirty. But you saw how it fit and how it looked on me. It's the same exact thing. And this does say, love never fails. Um, 1 Corinthians 13, 8. So you can clearly see it. I'm twirling it around a little bit. Um, but it's the same exact mask. So just the way you saw the way it fit, that's the way this one's going to fit. They both were black. They didn't have any other colors. You can see the string here. Um, you can um, adjust it to fit looser or tighter, which is really, really nice. Most of my masks don't have that. They just happen to fit really, really good and really comfortable. So I've been really lucky in that sense. So I think this might be the first one I have with this adjustable strap because I don't remember having it. But that is the one difference between this one and the one I just had on my face because this one has the adjustable thing, but this one doesn't. It just has the regular 
um, strap that goes around your face. So there is a slight difference, but the material on this side and the material on this side and the shape and the fit of it is exactly. I kind of feel like a wire kind of in this one. Oh, it was in this one too. Um, it's a very light, light wire. It's not hard or uncomfortable or pinching. I, you could barely feel it, but it's to you pinch it against your nose and it helps not to fog up your glasses and it helps you to breathe a little bit better. So I just noticed that. It says it's 100% polyester. Um, yeah. And it's an adult size. So most of them there have, I haven't, they probably do have little kids one, but I haven't really noticed. Um, so yeah, so I am gonna put this one on. I'm just gonna have to wash it tonight, even though I'm not really gonna wear it because I have lipstick on, so the lipstick's gonna get on it. But let me show you how that looks. Okay, this is how the other one looks, and I was not going to do it because I thought it's the same exact thing. Why get another one dirty that I'm not going to wear today? But I do feel the light um, metal, like, pincher, or it could be a plastic thing, but it's bent. It's flexible, and it bends as you tighten it. It'll stay, so it helps not to fog up your glasses and breathe better. But it's very light, but it's comfortable, and it adjusts to however tight you want it. Um, these are the adjustable ones, which I'm really liking because... The fact that you can adjust it is really nice. So I really do like that, even though most of mine's, I think none of my other ones have it. Um, but it's a really stretchy, comfortable fit, even a little bit better than this one. Even though this one's not bad at all, I have no complaints about how it feels around my ears or, you know, it's flexible too. You just can't adjust it. So they're both exactly the same as being comfortable. But it, this does has the advantage that you can loosen it or tighten it. But it's a little bit more stretchier because it's like a kind of like a rubber, rubber band feel. And this one is more like a material feel, but stretchy. So if you get what I'm saying. But that's how it looks. Love never fails. First Corinthians. Did I say 13A? Because <laughs> I can't see it backwards. So that's how it looks. It's kind of, let me fix my... Is that it put it on real fast but the good thing is like i said you can adjust it because it has a just so that's how it looks to the side i will add a picture as well but they look really nice i love the way it fits from top to bottom side to side love the material love that it's breathable love that it's comfortable this is exactly what i look for and the quality feels really really good so those are the two latest masks that i've gotten if i get any more i always keep you updated and show you all the different masks that I get as I'm getting them so yeah so if you have a Ross in your town you know not all Rosses have the same thing but if you go to your Ross check it out um, the place that it's at in our Ross is if you're going in the line to be checked out it's toward your right in our Ross it has a bunch of sanitizers it has a table full of wallets um, it's kind of where the candy as you're going in the line you start to see candy and um, smoothie bottles and all kinds of stuff. And as you're turning to the left, now this is in our Ross. Your Ross may not be the same, but they still might have them just in another section. So, and you could ask, hey, do you carry um, different pattern masks? Not the disposable ones, but ones with messages or ones with design. And they can guide you to wherever they at. But in our Ross, it's kind of as you're making that left to go towards the the counters on the right side where they have all these sanitizer they have a few different masks they even have the disposable ones if you want those i don't understand the disposable ones but we did have a box that we got from an ambulance company we did keep them just as emergency purposes um, but yeah so if you don't see them on your own ask somebody if they do have them there just maybe in another section so again 3.99 perfect 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 i totally recommend you getting them so that's it for this section of the mask. Well, we are going to our new Dollar Tree that's on our side of the town. We live on the north end of town and our original Dollar Tree is on the south end of town. And it was always like, oh my God, we gotta go all the way to the other end of town 
to go to Dollar Tree, but they have good buys, so we did it. But now it's nice to know that it's up the street from us on our side, so we're gonna go in and check it out. <laughs> so we're going in. It looks bigger, so we'll it see. What do we start? Oh, I gotta get the soap. soap. <laughs> is it down here? It looks so different. <laughs> so, looks like the aisles are the same, just bigger. Wait, is it this is like makeup. Those are our favorite wipes. And lotion, my husband loves this lotion, especially the aloe vera one. He loves it. Yeah, it feels like, I feel like the store is flipped. Like, they have good deodorant, like this lady's speed stick is good. Secret down there is good. Medicines, lotions, oh, more wipes, more all kinds of different wipes. Facial wipes, watermelon and aloe. Maybe I'll get one. So much more clean. I'm gonna try these. Oh, that thing is empty. I'm here for soap. Oh, I need regular wipes. That looks so clean. Maybe because it's new. I always get my Vaseline here too, but I have enough Vaseline right now. I used to love to get that too because it's like Vaseline, but at the same time, like a lotion. So the soap must be on the other side. So you have, oh, okay, the original right here. How many? You get like four maybe. I can't get the ones below it. There you go. So this is the soap that my family uses. I have to use something completely different because I suffer from severe allergies and allergies allergy reaction so I have to use this one this is the one that I use I already I think I have three at home so I don't need them right now but it's sugar soap works I think it's called and it's the oatmeal and coconut plant-based it's only one my skin can handle I don't know how to put that back but my family likes this the Irish Spring original but they carry dub and then and sensitive and regular they even have the caress which is nice. I tried this one before, but it's too jellyish. I don't think it does good on my skin, but it has the oatmeal almond. I wish it would work. Oh, we might need conditioner, huh? Oh, no. See, this doesn't smell. So, yeah. So, this is. The yeah. aisles seem longer, don't they? Oh, there you go. One aisle, so so see how long the aisles is compared to ours. It's really long. This is like the broom, cleaning supplies. I already got my comet. I already got my kaboom. Kids aisle. Oh look, they have the the dawn and stuff here. The party aisle. It's a pretty long aisle. Look, they have the straws that we use for the Puerto Rican Festival on 4th of July. Did we get some? No, ours was at Walmart, huh? Birthday stuff, baby shower, you name it. Wrapping paper. Our theme this year is Little House on the Perry, so we won't be needing none of the wrapping paper for Christmas. The cards and all the table and plates and napkins the greeting cards. The holidays, fall's coming, so you'll see a lot of this color. Um, Halloween and Thanksgiving, so you'll see a lot of that. See all the Halloween, Thanksgiving stuff. So it's a mix of both. There's the candy. There's the, leads back to the, they have look like some good costumes. Look, they even have Halloween socks. <laughs> Halloween cups, which are nice. This is a lot of fall and Thanksgiving, I think. Oh, they even have the baskets that color. That is so nice. So if you want to do a Halloween basket or a Thanksgiving basket for somebody, you can. Look at that, like arts and crafts Halloween stuff. Look, they have your mat before you walk in the door. 
if I went to my mother's grave, I would put these color flowers on her grave. I don't know if I'm going to be able to go for is things. It's like a flush pumpkin. Given this year, this is kind of like the middle of the store. More cards. Oh, look, blessed and grateful, and then you can put the date. And then they have their calendars. Pins and markers. Vases. Oh, they got pretty vases. So, like, we could decorate grandma's thing with that color. And then your foam boards, envelopes, car stuff. This is good for back to school, even though everybody's having a hard time getting back to school because of the pandemic. But if you absolutely have to go and need your supplies, this is good. Car stuff, the candles, dog stuff, food and stuff. Frames, these are cute frames. Still. The one time I could work at a store this nearby. I know, huh? So we just came from our new Dollar Tree. I guess they opened Thursday. And today is what? Monday. We didn't know. Only because my daughter and my son went to Panda Express, they noticed it. So I don't know if they announced it or what, but we didn't know. I had heard a while back that they were going to open a new Dollar Tree, but I thought it was just people saying that. But I always hoped that they would open one on this side of town because it was always so exhausting going all the way to the other side of town. And unless you were in that area, then it was okay. And I thought, God, if it's such a success, why don't they open one on this side of town? Of course, our original Dollar Tree is way smaller and stuff. So if Dollar Tree is not on your first on your list to go find stuff, you're crazy. It should definitely be your first place to go. Then whatever you don't find there, then go down your list, whether that's big lots if you have a big lots in your town or grocery outlet or Amazon and then you go down your list but definitely that should be the first place to check if you have a Dollar Tree there's some places like in the Bay Area they have Dollar Tree too but then they have other stores called the 99 cent store so it's even a penny cheaper they're really big in the Bay Area but um, definitely I love love Dollar Tree if you're I'm I'm not a person that really has to be on a budget but you never can deny a great sale, a great deal, anything that's budget friendly. You know, I make good money. My husband makes good money. My son gets his own money. You know, my daughter's not working right now because she just finished college and you can't work in a pandemic. So she, she has health issues. She has asthma. So, you know, but she used to always get her school money and she's worked here and there. So um, right now I take care of her, which is a pleasure because she's such a good daughter. But, um, so if she, there's anything she needs, she knows she can always count on me. So Dollar Tree would be her best friend because she could get so much more. So even though you make good money, like I said, me and my husband make good money and we're doing fine. We're not rich at all by any means. That's not what I'm saying, but you know, we're blessed and we're good. So, you know, I can really just have choices where to buy from, but you know, my mother always raised us like that. My parents had a lot of money. I was raised in a family of money. Um, so we never had a need for anything. I never saw my mother cry for how she was gonna pay a bill. Um, we all went to college. We had the best of the best of everything. But my mother still would take us to Goodwill and secondhand stores, just instill that in us. To be grateful, to feel, you know, be thankful when you're blessed and to know that hey just because you have a lot of money you can still find great things at those places and i just loved her for instilling that in me and teaching us that so who doesn't want to sell a good budget or a great deal and like i said at dollar tree you could so find quality brand stuff good stuff so that should definitely be your first place so i'm so excited so happy that we finally got one on our side of town which is just up the street Right now it's clean because it's new, I'm sure. I just pray that it, they really keep it up. Um, it's bigger, which I love, and it seems like they have, you know, everything's the same, but more. They have more of it, and I noticed that they did have extra stuff that maybe this other Dollar Tree doesn't. So, I don't know. When I go back and am able to take my time and have my list, I probably could show you a whole lot more and really take my time to see what they have. I kind of went down every aisle, but kind of quickly, as you saw, browsed and then got the stuff that I needed just for now. But um, definitely gonna go back and check it out, so.
That's our new Dollar Tree.